Happy Super Bowl Sunday, everybody. It's going to be a wild one tonight, in my opinion. And I guess I did take the box with the three points, because I know some people are going to ask that in the comments. We'll see what happens. Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know. But he's not playing Eli Manning tonight, uh, so we've got a good chance at it. And I'm not a big Tom Brady fan, but I just learned in the past, don't ever bet against him unless he's playing Eli. But let's go to the topic on hand here. I've actually redone this video probably about four or five times because Siri keeps popping up when I say a certain word. So I'm, I'm going to try not to have that happen here again. I saw my phone light up, and I'm like, no, Siri, no. But um, let me pull this up here real quick. It is a fake Mike Trout card. It is labeled that way. It's also in a fake PSA case. So the first thing I want to do is talk about, it does say the word reprint in the title. So you know you're buying a reprint, but you're thinking it's graded by PSA. But I'm going to give you guys a little uh, insight here. People are not all writing reprint there. They're writing capital R, capital P, which is meaning reprint too. So just in case you didn't know that, it's just a little bit of uh, information for you there. And it might also not be there. It might be in the description. So check that out as well too. This guy here has no more for sale. He doesn't even have anything for sale. I don't believe in his store if I remember when I went in there. But he has sold some different ones like this, all Mike Trout. So let's talk about this here. Let me see if I can get this to pull up here again. It took a second last time. All righty. So if I look at the Trout card, normally if they're not graded and they're just in the regular toppler, you could feel it, touch it, and tell the difference between the card stocks. If you're familiar with it. The other way is there's foil that's around the emblems and stuff here that is always off. So always check that as well, too. Your best bet is, is if you see this stuff at card shows, just buy yourself a 2011 Topps update, like base card or something out there. And you'll, you'll be able to see the difference that way. The best thing I can tell you to do. If you look at the back, everything's on there from the licensing of Tops and uh, Major League Baseball. Nothing on there saying reprint on the card. I'm just making sure I didn't miss something that did say reprint. Because people always ask if it says reprints on them, and I, I never see it. All right. So that there is pretty much, you know, the reprint card in there. My big thing is the PSA slab. Because even if you say, I want to go out there, I can't afford... Five ten thousand dollars plus for a Mike Trout rookie, but I'm gonna get a reprint for my collection, and I'm gonna go ahead and have it, you know, get one that's graded. For one, PSA, even if they would even think of doing a reprint, they're gonna write the word reprint on there. I have seen them before done, but I'm pretty sure they're more. Of the ones that were remanufactured, like the Jordan rookies that came back out in that, what was it, decades of excellence and stuff like that. But nowhere in this card does it say, oh, there we go. Nowhere in this card does it say anything like that. Now, if you do take this serial number, pop in the PSA website, look what pops up. Look at the value. twenty-five grand. Back to it. So that's correct on there. Look at the blur on that barcode. That's another key thing. I got it if there's no PSA label on or a sticker onto it. And I'll flip it over real quick. You guys see right here, there's a little foil PSA thing. That only happened over the evolution of the slabs. So it may or may not have them. Now let's go on to his case. You guys see those little circle discs all over the place? I mean, I can just look at the slab itself and tell it's cheaply made. It's not a PSA. But that's another key thing there because I don't recall them having that many circles ever in a case. And for some reason, it's hit me that a while back there were something like those marks onto some of the cases. And I questioned it. And I was completely wrong because at that time frame, there was something with their mold or what they were using to make their cases. But I can tell you right now, other reasons you can see this is a fake. Now, when you go to the back, and you can see that label up there. As you notice, it's see-through. There's nothing else. It's just you can see through that piece of paper. There's nothing. All right, I'm going to flip back here. 
And that's the pug snoring. She's out cold after eating. In case anybody hears that weird noise, it sounds like a bullfrog. She's way behind me, though. If you look up on top there, that's what they have on their background. You got a serial number, the barcode, you got the little scan code, and all that other stuff. Some of my older stuff that I looked at that was graded even five, six years ago had the same type of back to it. It wasn't like there's a piece of paper just stuck in there. Alrighty. Let me pull that back up here real quick. And as we're looking, I want to show you he had multiple of these. Here's a blue border one. Same exact thing. The serial numbers match up. I could tell you the font. It doesn't look right to me as well. Even though it's pretty close, it just it don't look right at all. And then you can see the back of the blue one, same exact thing on to it. So guys, just be careful what you buy. He does mark this as reprint onto it as well, too. And he even said this is a reprint card put into a oh he put it on this one to a fake PSA slab. But once you look at this one here. This is the red one. The blue one he said put into a fake PSA slab. This is why it caught me here. There's nothing here about a fake uh, PSA slab whatsoever on here. So, he did on the blue one, not in the red one. I didn't really look at the description on blue. I just wanted to pull up and show you there were multiple on it. But this one here, completely fake. Please, before you go use your hard-earned money, or something that you sold some cards to buy something like this. Be very careful on what you buy out there. People are just trying to make a dollar on everything anymore. If you guys go back, remember the, uh, what was it, the Pat Mahomes Silver Prism sticker? Yeah, there, there's another one right there, too. Everybody's out there trying to get their hands into it because there's all this money floating around now. Just be careful what you buy. I wanted to bring this up because we're getting close to baseball season and people are starting to buy it. And with this here, I think it I wanted to get it out a little bit quicker. So we're gonna do a same day video on to it versus what I've had in the past. So please, when you're buying stuff, double check it and everything like that. Ask questions, go on boards, whether it's blowout, uh Beckett has a forum as well, too. Maybe a Facebook group. Just say, this doesn't look right, guys. Here's a picture of front and back. And there's a lot of people that know this stuff very well that's always willing to lend a hand out there to make sure you don't get taken advantage of and get scammed. So, again, thank you as always, everybody. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any kind of comments on this stuff, please feel free to write them down there. I will get back to them as I can. And this is going to be a little busier of a week this week, but I will get to them. Uh, usually within 24 hours, I like to comment back on stuff, even with a simple thank you for watching the video. But other than that, have a good, safe Super Bowl tonight. Have a good week, and I'll be back with some more videos. Take care and have a good one.